Hi, my name is Tadeusz Lazinski. I am from AGH University of Science and Technology in Krakow. And I would like to present my paper on specifying local search neighborhoods from a constraint satisfaction problem structure. The paper was co-written with Salvador Abril from University in Evora and Gregor Jaina Lepa, also from AGH. First, I would like to state my motivation. Uh, as you all know, uh, combinational search and optimization problems are very difficult, especially industrial ones, the real ones. The local search methods uh, have proven to be quite competitive solvers in this domain, especially when applied to the problem specific neighborhoods. At the same time, local search method methods lack a good uh, modeling layer and are difficult to support. The concept programming community have created, has created tools to model the problems, they can't capture the high level problem structure. It's, um, it makes them easier to develop and support. Recently, uh, we have seen a quite, a, quite a progress in automated algorithm configuration. At the moment, we are not only looking for correct parameters values, but also we are searching for the best network architectures for machine learning problems. Given that, I will state my goal as to develop a method to automatically find a useful from a specific neighborhood based on the cost of programming representation. To achieve this goal, we have to first define a proper representation of the neighborhood of operators uh, that would satisfy some requirements. First, it should somehow connect the neighborhood operators with the cost of programming models. Second one, should be easy to manipulate automatically. And third one, should be expressible enough to define even complex neighborhoods. As I have said, the concept programming models capture quite a lot of structure in the problem, especially high-level models like Minizing or SS models. Uh, we lost this, inform this, uh, this information on structure when we compiled this, those models to low-level representations like Flatzing or when we tried to apply some abstract models to the problems. Our approach to define uh, to obtain the structural information is so-called typed concept network. It's basically a constraint graph with uh, labels added to the variables and constraints. The label would be a type of the variable or the constraint. Uh, the idea is to um, group the variables based on the structures they appear in. So for example, if variables uh, appear in the same area in Minizy, they will get the same, the same variable type. The same about constraints. If they have the same semantics and if they fall under scope of the same quantifier or a result of uh, the, comp the composition of a single global constraint, they can uh, share the same constraint type. For example, if we wanted to add types to the traveling series person problem, we would have to decompose the global constraint circuit. And that would uh, lead to two variable types and three constant types. The first variable type, the first variable type would be the next type. Uh, next variables define succession of the nodes in the Hamiltonian cycle. Second uh, type would be the order type. But basically, var variables of this type correspond directly to the to the nodes in the Hamiltonian cycle. Then we have three constant types. The first type is the type that uh, no, the next variables have to have different values. The order, second type is that the order variables have to be different also. The third type is that no next variable can point at itself. The other example would be four queens problem. In four queens, we have only four variables of the same type, TQ here. Uh, those variables represent row positions of the queens in the given columns. Then we have two constant types. The first one depicted with the solid line is that uh, two queens can't share the same row. And the second one depicted with the dashed line that no queen, two, two queens can share a single diagonal. Given this uh, type constant network, we want to propose a language, a neighborhood definition language, MDO, uh, that is able to query the type of network similarly to the way we query the databases using SQL languages. Uh, it should be non-deterministic. So for one uh, input, we should get many results. So for one value assignment, we would get many neighbors. 
And this language is not Turing complete. It is uh, made so it would be easy to automatically process. MDL consists of three basic types of operations. The first one is that there are selectors, like SEP in SQL. So we can select variables based on their features, like constraints, types, values that are involved with. So we can, for example, select a variable of type next. We can select two variables, x1 and x2, given that they are constrained by a constraint of type div, etc. Then we have selector combinators, a way to combine the uh, selections. So we can, for example, filter some, some select selections based on the combined features of several variables. For example, we can accept variables x1 and x2 only if they are, are different, or accept x1 only if its value is bigger than value of x2. Finally, we have modifiers that change values of the selected variables. So we can swap values of two given variables. We can set value of a given variable to a given value. Then, to get so, uh, a real complex neighborhood, we want to somehow com compose those operations. At the moment, there are three fundamental ways to compose uh, operations in NDL. The first one is so-called functional composition. So we just allow uh, to use the result of the operator as an like, argument of the second operator. Uh, we, the second one is universal selector quantifier. So we can quantify over results of the selector and apply an NDL program to all the results. And the third one, the list, list fixed point operator, uh, applies a program to all constraints of the given type in a BFS order. So we start with a given, uh, given variable and we apply the given program to all the constraints related to this, um, to this variable. And this way we explore the whole graph. In our paper, we are, we are able to represent various efficient neighborhood operators in NDL. The first uh, would be the cap chain, the very common and nice uh, neighborhood for graph coloring, and the two opt for the traveling sensor person problem, and column swap for traveling tournament. Different uh, operators can be also defined, but there was no space in the paper to put them in, inside. Here's an example of the camper chain definition in NDL. It's, uh, I know it's quite verbose, but remember it's formal language made for uh, low level representation and to be automatically processed, not for humans. And also uh, the, the real implementation of this language could hide all those uh, ugly symbols. So just a short, a short description. In this line, we select two variables of a given type. So we choose two nodes in the graph, basically. Then we make sure that uh, colors of those nodes are different. Then uh, we change the uh, color of the first, uh, first variable. So we modify the assignment. And finally, we use the list fixed point uh, combinator to fix the resulting assignment. So we just explore the graph and locally fix broken constraints. It's defined here. At the moment, we have a prototyping implementation of the NDL written in Prolog and Python. It can derive type concept network directly from the amazing subset and then generate neighborhood operators using genetic programming methods. Finally, we can explore those neighborhoods using the OSCAR solver. We have been able to reproduce automatically camp chain and two opt neighborhoods. This, this uh, here depicts the flow in the neighborhood generation. Conclusions. Uh, we have created and defined a new language, so-called neighborhood definition language, that uh, is able to query those programming models based on the high-level structure and then modify the associated value assignments. It is designed to be low-level uh, representation accessible for automated programming and for methods. And despite the fact it's not too incomplete, it still allows to represent various complex local search neighborhoods. Thanks for your attention and for your time. I hope for a fruitful discussion. Bye.